In this tutorial, I will show you how to use read.ai. So read.ai is an AI tool that helps you with responding to emails, taking meeting notes, summarizing your meetings, improving your communication skills, and it's a really amazing AI tool. I'll show you how you can use it. So in order to get started, what I will do is go to read.ai and just click add to Chrome right here. Now I've already added it to Chrome, but just click add to Chrome right here. Then in the top right, click on your extensions and you should see it right here. So go to pin it. And then once you click on it, it will say sign in or create account. So you want to go and click create account if it's your first time using it. And then you can just create your free account and you don't need to enter any billing details or credit card details, or anything like that. Now, after you create your account, there are a few things that you want to go and do. So they will take you through an onboarding process where you can connect read.ai to any tool that you want. Now, of course, it needs to be supported. But for example, I have connected it to Google Calendar and Gmail. Now, if you mainly use Zoom or Microsoft Outlook, then you want to connect it to those. But for me, I use Google Calendar, so also Google Meet. So therefore, I'm going to connect it to that. And now you will allow your read assistant to join and generate meeting reports for Google Calendar events. Now you can also add it to a live meeting yourself by just clicking on add to live meeting and then paste in the URL right here. Now you can also schedule meetings into your calendar using read. So you can first just click manage right here. Then you can set what time frames you want to be available for your meetings. For example, for me, 15 and 30. And then here you can also create custom scheduling links. You can set your availability and stuff like that. And then here you will have your link. And you can see right here, if you share this with someone and they click on it, they can then pick how long they want a meeting for, for example, 30 minutes, and then they can book it in or click back options and just book it in on your calendar. Now you can also integrate read with other tools such as your CRM. For example, they have HubSpot and Salesforce. You can even integrate it with thousands of other apps through Zapier. You can push to Slack or Teams. You can integrate with Notion, Google Docs, or any of these other tools right here. Now, my personal favorite feature about Read AI that really makes it different from other AI meeting note takers is the coaching section right here. So here you can see your clarity, so your talking pace, filler words, so how many filler words you use, non-inclusive terms, interruptions, your impact, so bias, charisma, and questions asked, and it will give you scores on all of these and help you improve your communication skills. Now this is really awesome, and all you need to do to use this is just add read AI to your meeting, which you probably wanted to do anyway, because it's going to take meeting notes and summarize it for you. But now you can even see your communication skills and it will help you improve on that, which again for me is one of the best features in read AI. Now you can also go through your reports and calendar right here. You can see a sample meeting report right here. So this one I didn't actually have, but it kind of shows how it all looks. So you actually have a recording of it right here. Then you have the highlights. So it's going to create highlights for you. And you can just see those right here. So it's just six or 16 second clips where you can kind of see what is happening. So for example, here's an action item that you may want to do. Here's a reaction, a key question. And it's just going to do all of this by itself, which is really amazing. So here you can then also really easily see chapters and topics, action items and key questions, and you can see your own notes if you took them. And in deep dive, you can see all of this. So who talked, so for example, David talked for 40% of the meeting, and you can just see that right here, which is really amazing. You can see standings and highlights. So it even tracks, for example, the microphone off, percentage for you and all participants, the charisma, so how positively or negatively others reacted when you spoke, it even tracks that. So it's really amazing in my opinion, and I definitely recommend it. And right here, by the way, you can also see the coaching section. So your talking pace is 212 words per minute, which is on the fast side. Then filler words were 15 instances, so that's in total 1%, which is fine. Then non-inclusive terms, 0% or 0 instances, interruptions, also 0, your bias, 81, charisma, 80, and the higher, the better it is. Then you can see, for example, who has the most bias, who has the least, etc.
Now, when you connect Read AI to your mailing app, which for me is Gmail, you can see, for example, if I click on this email that I got, I can just click on draft reply. And again, for this, you will need to have it in your Chrome extension, but I can now click draft reply. Then it's just going to create a reply and then you can click accept or reject. If you click reject, it's gone. If you click accept, I can just send it. And this way you can really easily just reply to emails. You can just check if you agree with it all but I do think it's very good. Now you can also invite your team members by clicking on add people right here and then you can first name your organization. Then you need to read and agree to the data processing. Then you can give your team a name, for example, the marketing department, then click next. Now you can just invite them by entering their email. Now for this, you will need to have multiple licenses. So in their pricing, you can see the pricing is per license per month and each license is one user. Now I'll just skip this for now. And now here you can review the workspace default settings and then click finish. And then you will have created this workspace. So then you can just go to the workspace overview right here and then you can see participation, the meeting manager, timekeeper and meeting scheduler right here. So that concludes this read.ai tutorial. If this tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.